Hello students, so today we are going to learn about cockroach and cockroach digestive system. Now, as we know, cockroach comes under phylum Arthropoda in class Insecta. Now, cockroach they are present everywhere. It is omnipresent, and they feed on anything and everything. That is, they are omnivorous species. They are found in the crevices. They are nocturnal animals. Now. When we learn about cockroach digestive system, it starts from the mouth region. Same like what we have learned about the human digestive system or any other digestive system. Here, the mouth is not visible as it is on the posterior side. So, uh, the cockroach mouth region is the beginning part and ending with the red tongue. Now, cockroach digestive system is divided into three parts: foregut, midgut, and hind gut. Now, foregut begins with the mouth region, leading to the mouth cavity or the oral cavity, and you can see here pharynx leading into the esophagus, which is the narrow tube, and it leads to the bigger or biggest part in the digestive system, that is the crop, where the food is stored. Then it leads to the gizzard. Gizzard is very hard substance which helps in grinding the food. Now, this foregut consists of Repeat mouth, the mouth cavity, the oral cavity, pharynx, which is an arrow tube leading to the esophagus, crop, and the gizzard region. Now, along the pharynx, on the either side, you have got salivary glands, which again secrete saliva, which has salivary amylase, which helps in digestion. Again, if you see the salivary glands, they have got the duct and the reservoir where the saliva is stored. Now, the foregut continues into the midgut. Now, in the junction, there are few tubules present. These are called as hepatic CK. There are 6 to 18 numbers which help to secrete digestive juices, which helps in digestion. Now, so here there are the small tubules, 6 to 18 numbers, leading into the midgut or the mesenteron. Now, they are also called as stomachidal duct or stomachidal where uh, the midgut or otherwise called as the decentrum. Now it's a small tube which continues into the hindgut. Hindgut again begins with the ileum, colon and the rectum. The hindgut and the midgut again there's a ju the junction you have got malpigian tubules which may be around 120 to 115 number. Now function of malpigian tubules to excrete the undigested food out of the body. That is it helps in excretion. Now, uh, coming back, so here again there are accessory glands, there is salivary glands, the hepatic CK, the malpigian tubules. Now, so the foregut, midgut, hindgut, three parts of this uh, stomach region or the digestive system, the junction as a good gizzard, you can see a small section of the gizzard or the system which you can see here. The lining from the esophagus entering into the crop, as I mentioned, largest part. Inner part, you have got circular muscles which help in pushing the foot inside. The crop where the foods are stored, it leads into the gizzard, where the denticles are present at the junction. Now, the gizzard, if you take this section of it or mount it, you can see the presence of the circular muscles, uh, inner epithelium, and there are six titanium teeth. Now, this help in grinding the food. Or you can say chewing the food as a teeth functions in case of humans and mammals. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six, chitinous teeth are present, and as a lumen in the center, after the grinding part, the food moves through the lumen from the gizzard into the milk. Clear? I repeat once again, starting with the uh, system, foregut, midgut, hindgut, foregut starts with the mouth, the oral cavity, which is not visible in the diagram. Leading to the pharynx, esophagus, the narrow tube, the crop, largest part where the food is stored, leading into the uh, gizzard or the junction where the gizzard helps in grinding the food, leading into the midgut or the mesenteron, and the further leading into the hindgut where ileum, colon, and rectum is present, which expels out the food, the undigested food, or helps in uh, removal of the undigested food. Here at this junction, hepatic CK is present with 6 to 18 number helps in digestion as it secretes digestive juices. Whereas non-region tubules, excretory organ helps in excretion which is almost 150 in 
number. The entire dash system or cockroach is almost 3 to 5 centimeter high at an average. So I hope the concept is clear. The some points are put up over here related to the what I have explained. So students, something more to add over here. Now in the dash system, nowadays you might have heard about cockroach milk. How it is obtained the details I will be posting it later on. That is obtained from the cockroach which is, uh, has got a lot of protein content. Okay, but uh, how it is, where it is, the detailed concept I will be posting it at the end of the part. So thank you all.